Hi. In this video session, we are going to explore the limit of a function using GeoGebra. For those of you who are familiar with GeoGebra, it is an open source dynamic geometry software and it can be easily used to explore many concepts in a very interesting manner. Now, the concept of limits is challenging for students and uh, limits form the foundational basis of calculus. So it is very important that uh, they get an intuitive understanding of the meaning of the concept of limit of a function. So let me take you to a GeoGebra screen. As you can see on the screen, there's an algebra view, there's a graphics view with the axes and a grid at the back. And there's also an input bar. And on top, there's a toolbar which has many graphics tools. All right, so let's get started. Suppose I want to remove this grid at the back. I can tap on this little triangle here and get a few icons. And using the second icon, I can remove the grid. But if I need it again, I can bring it back by tapping on, tapping on it. Look at the input bar at the bottom of the screen. I can enter a function here. So suppose I enter a function, f of x is equal to sine 2x divided by x. After entering it in the input bar, I have to press enter so that it comes, it shows on the algebra view. As you can see on the graphics view, the graph has been plotted. Now I can use the move graphics view that is the last icon on the toolbar and expand the axes, say the y axis and the x axis so that I can see the graph of the function in a small interval around zero. All right, so now let us see Suppose I take a point on the graph, so I use the point tool and tap somewhere on the graph of the function, I get a point A and GeoGebra shows me its coordinates in the algebra view. So let me move this point A across the graph. As you may have noticed, as we approach X, uh, as, we, as X approaches zero from the left hand side, uh, we see that the Y coordinate approaches two. And as we move across to the other side and, and, and we approach x, uh, at x approaches 0 from the right hand side, again we see that the y coordinate is approaching 2. At 2, however, the function is not defined. So as you can see, it is showing a is undefined when x is equal to 0. Now suppose we want to explore this numerically. So I can go to view. And notice that when I go to view, there are three things which are ticked on this menu the algebra view, the graphics view, and the input bar, all of which we can see on the screen. But now suppose I want to call a spreadsheet. So I tap on the spreadsheet, and right on the right-hand side, you can see a spreadsheet has appeared. Since I want to use the spreadsheet, I'm now going to move, uh, I'm going to close my uh, video screen, and I'll continue explaining and speaking, so I hope you'll be able to follow me. Now suppose I enter a value in cell A1 as 0 and in B I enter the formula in which I say that I want to explore the value of the function f at 0. So when I press enter, notice that it gives me a question mark because this function is not defined at 0. Now I can take different values of x. So for example, if I say minus of 1, and I come to the other side and I drag the cell, I can get the value 0 0.91. Similarly, I take a value closer, say 0 0.5, and I drag the cell and I get the value of the function, minus 0 0.25. And, and we see that the function values appear to be coming closer to 2. If I want to take values on the other side, suppose I say 0 0.5 and I drag this cell down because the formula is entered in it. Again, I see the value is 1.68, so it's symmetrical. This graph happens to be symmetrical about the y-axis, at least in a small interval. All right, now suppose, uh, let us say that I want to explore values of the function around 0, say from minus 1 
and let me enter equal to f of bracket cell a1 enter and here I'm going to click on the cell a1 and add 0 0.1 that means I'm now going to create a column uh, values of x as x varies from minus 1 to let us say 1 in steps of 0 0.1 and if I tap on this screen on this cell and just right click I can see the function values appearing on the right hand side unfortunately the algebra has a slight problem here at, at 0 the function is not defined and it is not stating so right here but I can also uh, get uh, the approximate values of the function up to say a higher number of decimal places so for example I can go to option go to rounding and increase the number of decimal places to say 5 and as you can see I expand the column so as x approaches 0 from both sides from the left hand side and the right hand side the function value appears to be coming closer and closer to 2 though mind you the function is not defined at 0 okay so that gives us a nice picture. Uh, now suppose I want to enter a different function. So suppose now I want to enter a function g of x is equal to now, this is a rational expression, rational function. I'm going to enter x cube minus 3x minus 2 in the numerator and slash in the denominator. I Let's, let's see, I have x squared minus 4. So let me enter this and see if I've entered it correctly. Well now let's look at g of x. x cubed minus 3x minus 2 upon x square minus 4. I can see both the functions right now. So I can easily tap on this blue dot here to remove the function fx which is no longer graphed. I don't need the point a so I remove a as well from the screen. What I can see now is only the function g of x. In the spreadsheet also I can delete these two columns. So I have a clean spreadsheet. And now let us see, I want to explore the limit of the function gx as x approaches 2. I can use the move graphics view to shift the graph a bit. And let us see what happens to this function as x approaches 2. So again I select a point on the graph of g. I select the point tool, click somewhere on the graph of gx and I get a point b when its coordinates are showing in the algebra view. And as I move this point using the move tool across 2, once again I see that at 2 the function is not defined but as I, I as I approach 2 from either side of 2 the function value seems to be approaching something like 2.15 so let me now again come back to the spreadsheet and let us explore values of this function as x approaches 2 from either side so let me say I take a very small interval and I say 1.9 and I increase values of this by 0 0.01 so I get 1.91 and so on and to say 2.08 let us say and in this cell in cell B1 I enter equal to G because now this function is G of X and I press enter Notice that the function value shown is 2.156 so on. Now let me double click on this here and I quickly see that this function is not defined at 2 but the function value seems to be approaching 2.25 as x approaches 2 from either side. So this is a very convenient way of exploring the limit of a function uh, graphically as well as numerically. Now suppose I enter yet another function, say h of x is equal to sine 1 upon x. Well, I'm not very, uh, so I, I would probably like to remove g of x now and only see h of x, I remove point b 
and I'm going to pan the window. Look at this very interesting function. I want to see what happens to this uh, to this function as x approaches 0. So I want to explore the limit of hx as x approaches 0. So once again I clear the spreadsheet columns and let us see what happens. I can use the zoom in option and keep zooming in at the origin. Notice that there are very quick oscillations around 0. So now suppose I enter say minus 0 0.1 here and I increase values of this by 0 0.01 and I go on to say 0 0.1 and now I'm going to enter the formula h and do notice what is happening here as I tap double click I can see function values and notice that some are negative and some are positive. So these values, the values of this function seem to be uh, oscillating between positive and negative values and this cube goes on increasing as we come closer and closer to zero from either side of zero. So clearly that is the limit does not exist as x approaches zero. All right, so now suppose I again go to view and this time I call in a CAS window. CAS stands for Computer Algebra System. This has inbuilt commands which can help us to compute many things. So I can use the limit command. So I'm going to tap on the CAS window here and type limit. And I want the limit of f of x as x approaches 0. And if you press enter, you can see that the function value for sine uh, 2x upon x as x approaches 0 was 2. Similarly, I can say limit g of x as x approaches 2. This limit was 9 by 4, which is 2.25. And finally, if I look at limit h of x, as x approaches 0, the output is a question mark because this limit does not exist. So using GeoGebra, I can actually explore the limit of functions symbolically using a CAS, algebraically, graphically and numerically using a spreadsheet. So we can use multiple representations to explore the limit of a function. I hope you found this session useful. If you did like it, then please do share your feedback. Thank you.